Hi there, it's Adam with Web Starts once again to show you how to add one of these countdowns to your website using Web Starts. And then I'm also going to be working with a widget that you can find here at countingdown2.com. If you go to countingdown2.com, you'll see some options. Let me refresh the page. When you go to countingdown2.com, you'll see a countdown widget just like this. And then there's a number of different ways that you can customize that. You can say uh, sale ends, you know, and then that'll change the text on the widget. And you can do things like customize the color. And then you can also remove that background and make it transparent, change the text color, and a lot of other things. Once you're ready to add that countdown to your website, click Add to My Site. And then what you can do is copy this code to your clipboard by selecting it and then going over to your website, click insert HTML code, paste the code into the field provided, and then click OK. And then you can drag and drop that countdown wherever you would like it to appear on your page. That's also really handy if you want to add a countdown to let's say an email message. You can do that in the Web Starts email marketing platform by choosing to compose your message. And then you go over here and click tools, source code, and then you paste that code into your email. And then you can send that countdown uh, through an HTML email using the Web Starts email marketing app. That's it for this video. Don't forget to visit webstarts.com to see more helpful videos like this and to build your very own free website.